My name's Chaz Simons and my weight is light middleweight. A um, bit about my past and where I grew up, I'm from Croydon. Always been a little, little bit of a bugger as a kid, as you do. Um, mixed it up with the wrong people. You know, boxing got me on the straight and narrow. And uh, that's, that's why I'm here today. Well, I've been, I've been very lucky, I'd say, on my career to the, of today um, and what I've achieved. I've achieved two t two two times Southern Area Champion. I've been a British Masters Champion. Uh, I've been lucky enough to um, fight for the WBF world title against Craig Doherty. Um, I got a draw on that fight, which I should have won. Um, I was in his hometown in Scotland and I got the draw, so that says it all for the decision. Yeah, my amateur career as a boxer was very good. Um, I had 50 fights as an amateur. I lost 12. I got to the ABA finals, boxed for London, represented England. Yeah, so I had a tremendous amateur career. I haven't really got a biggest inspiration. I inspire myself. I want to get to the top, no matter what I do. Um, there's always a new chapter for me in life. And uh, yeah, I push myself to the limits. Now I'm trying to get into reality TV. I'm pushing myself to them limits as well as I'm still boxing. So yeah, I inspire myself. I'm, I'm more mature now, you know, I just like to go to the gym. That's me really. And uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a woman. So I like to go into the gym and I like to go out for meals and getting to know people. About my nails, it's something I've just, you know, I just think girls like a man with nice nails. They don't want to be with a man that's bitty nails and that. And I trapped my nail in a door and it's been dead ever since and I wanted it sorted so I got the nail done and I liked it and I thought I'd get the rest of them done. And I've always gone and got manicures done on my hands and yeah, I like look after myself. I've got um, a very successful business, Chazza Scaffolding. We've been going seven months now, we're flying. You know, I can't, I can't tell you why I keep on fighting. There's something inside me, it's eats away. I'm just a fighting man, it's in my blood. I love to fight. But I think this time round now, I'm not fighting for money. Normally you chase money when you're a boxer or you're a fighter, you chase that money. I'm not chasing that money, I'm doing it for the love of it. You know, I don't, I don't get on that road and when I'm running thinking, oh, I wish I'd stayed in bed, oh, but, but, but I need the money, so I've got to do a running. No, I, you know, I've matured as a fighter. I'm 34 years old, I've matured myself. I do 6K every morning and then I'll go to work. I'll come home from work and then I'll go down to the amateur boxing club and I train there as well as training them as well. That's the New, Ad New Addington Boxing Club. Um, I've just joined up there, just training the kids. I just wanted to give something back to the community. I started training my nephew, just me and him. I was training him just in the gym, in the David Lloyd Leisure Centre. And he's got talent, so I took him to the Amateur Boxing Club, New Addington. And building that, I know the people down there. They said, why don't you come on board and help us train the kids? So I thought, why not? So I did, and yeah, we've, we've got a good squad of boys down there, and I get that I get that buzz back when I train, you know. I think I'm a better trainer than I am fighter. <laughs> I've been training with Chad for about six months. When I first started at Adler Boxing Gym, he's been taking me down here, taking me on the pads and showing me some moves. Yeah, very big inspiration. Um, I follow in his footsteps, yeah. All the people admire him down the club. Um, he trains all the kids and helps them to get as far as they can. And um, I love it. I, lo I love giving something back. And Billy Graham, the owner down there, he lets me train with the seniors. Because what, what better speed can you get is training with the amateurs, you know? I didn't want to train with the pros. This, this international fight is four rounds. I'm training with these amateurs. They're going to give me that speediness back. They're giving, they're, they're giving that hunger back. So yeah, without my mum, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be sitting here. Um, I'm so grateful for what my mum's done for me over the years. Um, when you're dropping me to the gym and you're picking me up and you're cooking me the right meals and you get bags of washing every day where I train twice, three times a day. And I do your editing with my mood swings and. I just want to, I want to thank you, Mum, for everything you do for me, and um, I wouldn't be able to get where I am today without you. So, Mum, I love you to bits, and I just want to thank you so much for everything you've done for me, and my dad. Thank you too. I've never, I, everyone knows with me, you, you come and watch Chaz, and um, you know you're going to see your money's worth, you're going to get your money's worth, you're going to see a fight. There's blood, there's tears, there's knockouts, whether it be me or whether it be him, someone's going to get knocked out. Um, it's going to be a good fight. And everyone knows that. I'm an entertainer. I'm a, I'm a born entertainer. I like to entertain, give you a little giggle while you're watching the boxing. So, uh, yeah, you always get your money's worth when you come and see the Chazza. I'm just, I'm just a unique person and I love to fight and you'd have to, you'd, you'd have to bury me to, to beat me. You know, I, I don't stop. 
you know what, I've been lucky where I've got to my career and you know, if I lived it right, it's something that I want to put out there to the people out there. Live it right, just sacrifice yourself for a few years and get to where you want to get to after the long road. My next fight is at the Clapham Grand in Clapham. It's a international fight, England versus Africa. It's called for the Commonwealth title. Um, I am captain of England representing, which I'm over the moon with. And uh, yeah, you know, there's like 10 fights on it in the night. And then the winner of that gets so many points and losing it so many points, then we face all the Commonwealth. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. And listen, I'm mentally, physically right for this fight. It's four rounds, make or break. Kill or be killed. I can't wait for it. And after this, Craig Dockett, I'm coming for you. You know what I mean? Craig Dockett, I'm coming for you. I want that world title, I'm coming for you. I'm no guinea pig, I want it.